my channel. I'm very excited for today's video. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, it is an entire Lulu shorts haul. I do have a few other items that I'm gonna show you guys because why not? I know you guys really enjoy these Lulu videos, so I was like, I'll include some other ones in here. I have so many shorts to go over though, and I know this was a video you guys really wanted to see. I feel like people have been asking me to do this for the past like three years, so I'm very excited to be partnered with Lulu to help bring you guys this video. I have so many shorts to show you. So we're just gonna get right on into it. My measurements are gonna be listed down below. Every single one of these items will be linked down below. I did include some of my other shorts in here like from the past that are very old, just so you can kind of see how they compare to the updated versions. I'm thinking we're gonna start with like the running, more like typical workout short. So let's get right on into it. First short up, this beautiful red speed up mid-rise short four inch lined. That's a mouthful, but this color is so pretty. This was not one of my favorite shorts in the past. Um, they weren't mid-rise, they were a lower rise short, but I wasn't a huge fan of like the vents on the back, but I was shocked when I tried these on. I actually think that all of the changes they made just make them so much more flattering. I personally have a really long torso, so even if high rise wasn't a thing. I still like shorts to come up a little bit higher, so I think the mid rise is perfect. Especially when you're moving around, I just feel like it helps them like stay in place a little bit better. Most of their shorts, especially their running shorts, are gonna have pockets. So they have the zip pocket in the back. They have all of these little vents along the back, which one of the reasons these weren't one of my favorite shorts in the past was because I feel like as I washed them, these would kind of start to flare out a little bit. I will keep you guys posted on that, but as of the first couple times I've worn them, I think that they've held in place very well. They do have the built-in underwear, and overall, I'm very pleased with the changes that were made to these compared to the old ones, like I've already said. So, four inch inseam is also, I think, a very good length for a running short. So, next pair up, I honestly think that these might be my favorite like running shorts that I've tried so far from them. The Tracker Low Rise Short four inch um, lined. So these have the built-in underwear as well. Even though they say low rise, I feel like they still come up to a good point on my hips. So I actually did not realize these were low rise until I just read the tag, but I really like these. I really like this color a lot too. Obviously this will go with like anything. The material is very thin. Um, I feel like this would be perfect for doing my bleacher workouts in the summer or honestly just wearing for whatever. They're a good running short, but they're still comfortable to like just wear around. So I'm super excited. I am going to be looking for a couple more pairs of these, <laughs> I assume, because they're just very, very comfy. I like that they don't have the vents in the back. It's just a solid short, but thinner material, so you're not gonna get too hot. You don't really need those vents with this material. They do have the pocket like I am showing you guys. And yeah, overall, I thought these were really, really nice. Um, once again, just super comfy. So out of the running shorts I've tried, I think that these are my favorite. And that's saying a lot, especially once we get further into this because I've tried a lot of shorts from them. Next pair up, these have actually been around for a while. Um, I do have one of my old pairs to show you guys, but these are the Hottie Hot Low Rise Short four inch lined. So in the past I've had, I wanna say they're two inch, they're very short, I feel like even though these still are low rise, these fit my hips better, kind of like the tracker short. So I wanted to get a white pair. White makes me nervous, but I figured why the heck not? It's summer, I'll give it a go. But as you guys can see, they do have the built-in underwear. They still have the little zipper on the side. And overall, I thought that these fit a lot better than my old Hottie Hot shorts, which you can see right here. These just look small. When you look at them, you're like, yep, those are gonna be short. These are also a size six, so I'm a size four in all leggings, but I usually size up two sixes in shorts just because they fit me a lot better. And just holding these up side, to, side by side, I can tell why I like the new ones so much more. Once again, the green ones are a six and so are the white, but they actually added a little bit around the waistband and you can just tell they're a little bit longer, like there's just more material there. And overall, I just think it's a much more flattering fit. So that's a really good upgrade in my opinion. All the changes they made are great. 
This next pair actually reminded me a little bit of the tracker short just with the speed up shorts band. Um, it has more of that like Lux Dream band on the top. You can see it's a different, um, a different material. They have the zipper in the back, but the thing I liked about these, they do have the vents still, but they're not all the way open. Like it's kind of like a fake vent on the sides and then these ones actually are vents. So they're not gonna like turn inside out kind of like I've had an issue with the speed up ones in the past. So I think these are gonna be great. These are gonna be one of my staple like bleacher workout shorts. They stay in place really well. Same thing, they have that built-in underwear. Um, probably these and the tracker shorts would be my top running shorts that I've tried so far. Um, the speed up shorts I still really, really like, but I just think these had a really good overall fit. These are a four inch inseam as well. Um, and yeah, I thought these were just very comfortable. The nice thing about this material around your waist is that it's just like comfy. Kind of feels like leggings a little bit. You obviously do still have a seam um, and they actually have extra pockets on the inside as well as that back zipper like I showed you guys. So these honestly might be the shorts that you guys are most interested in. The tighter shorts like the Align shorts, the new Wonder Train shorts, they're like biker shorts. And I tried to get different lengths, different inseams, so you guys can see how they look. Um, I am a taller woman, I'm 5'8", so these might look a little bit different on me than they do on you, but I still tried to get some different inseam lengths so you guys can see the difference. So the first ones I'm gonna show you guys are the Wonder Train High Rise Short 6 inch. First of all, I love this color, the diamond dye. Um, any of the diamond dye items that they sell, I highly recommend. They are a little bit more expensive, but they're very cute. Um, if you guys watched my Everlux video, I love the Wonder Trains. It's a newer pant for them. They fit like an Align pant, but they're a little bit more of that hug sensation and overall better for higher intensity workouts. So you can see it has that seamless waistband, but there's still the little um, drawstring in there so you can tighten it if you want. You, In my opinion, you don't even need to use that because they just stay in place really well. All of these tighter shorts, I did get a size four because they do fit more like a legging. I wanted to make sure they weren't too big, wanted to make sure they stay in place properly. So you guys will see, I think these fit perfect. I was a little nervous. I get nervous with tighter shorts in general, um, especially because these are more of a compressive fit, but I think that they were perfect. They would be great for doing the bleacher workouts in. Same thing with yoga too. Like I feel like these are kind of a cross training pant. So if you don't want like a strictly yoga, just wear around pant and then like a higher intensity, these are a good just cross training in my opinion, if you like that tighter look. So I would highly recommend these. I love their Wonder Train leggings. Um, and I was really excited to try those. So I'm glad I like them as well. And once again, that color, sign me up. These next two shorts I'm gonna show you are both the um, Align short. I have a four inch inseam and then I also have the 10 inch inseam. These Align shorts were freaking hard to get my hands on. Um, I actually just picked up these 10 inch ones because I wanted to have the four, six, and 10 inch. I think there's an eight. I could not get my hands on those, um, but I'll hold all of them up together so you can see. And obviously you're, you're gonna see as I try them on. Um, this is a pair I've had. I'm not sure if these are still available, but these are the four inch Align short. You guys know I love the Align pants. So as soon as they came out with these, I was like, all right, I haven't had good luck with like their Wonder short, Wonder Under shorts in the past. Um, but I wanted to give these a try and they fit me so well, so comfy. And this was actually the first pair of like tight shorts that I was comfortable wearing in the gym. So I have these in like four colors. Um, this is obviously the camo, but once again, this is the four inch and I am pretty comfortable in these. They do ride up if you're trying to do like a bunch of crazy movements. Like if I do dumbbell snatches or anything, the movement of like getting up and down all the time, they're gonna start to ride up a little bit, which is why I think the six inch, eight inch, 10 inch have become so popular, like the biker shorts, because they stay in place so well. Um, I would say the four inch Align pants are definitely more of like a true yoga short. Um, I really like wearing mine when we've been doing yoga at home recently and yeah, you can't go wrong. The Align material is just so soft. And then these are the 10 inch 
I was so nervous to get these. I'm like, good Lord, I'm gonna get them for the video. I'm never gonna wear them after that. And I surprised myself. I actually really like these. I know this is very trendy right now, wearing the biker shorts with like an oversized crew. If you've watched my other Lulu videos, you know I have a lot of their oversized crews. So I'm like, well, I'm halfway there. I'll get the pants, it'll be great, or the shorts. Um, so just so you can see the difference, first pair is four inch, second pair, the blue pair is six inch, and then the black in the back are 10. So they obviously are very different lengths, hence the different inseam lengths, but the 10 inch is definitely long. I was nervous, but on me, I feel like they're honestly still not too long. If you're someone ha who has shorter legs, they might, maybe that length would be a little bit too long for you, but I really did surprise myself with those. I thought that those looked really cute. Wearing them around the house, working from home, or even in the summer, throwing it on, or the spring and fall, like throwing that on with an oversized crew. Summer night, sitting by a fire, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, I've never had biker shorts before, so. It'll be interesting to see how often I wear those, what I pair them with, but I wanted to at least try those because I know you guys were very curious about all the different biker shorts. Moving on to the last three shorts I'm going to talk about. These are gonna be more of like the casual to and from short. Um, I'm big into their to and from items. I feel like they're just comfy. You can live in them. You can literally do anything in them and they're great. So. The first pair I'm gonna show you guys, I actually did just get a question about this yesterday. I already have three pairs of these and I love them. And these ones looked a little bit different. So these are the Inner Glow Short. This one is in the um, light cotton terry fabric. So the other three Inner Glow Shorts I got last year and I wanna say those are in the modal fabric. I'll make sure to double check that, put it on the screen, but I wanted to see the difference. And overall, I just think that the French Terry material is more stiff. I actually like the modal material better. I feel like it's a little bit more flexible, a little bit softer, but all of my inner glow shorts that I got last year are size sixes except for one. So, and it was my black pair. Thankfully they sold these in black. So I got these in a size six. I do prefer the way the size six fits me. I think I get a little bit more length in the um, bottom of the short and it just gives me a little bit more room around the waist, which I would rather have the waist be a little bit loose than cutting into me, especially for lounging. I've had so many of you reach out to me and say that you've gotten the inner glow shorts and you love them. So these are still one of my favorite. I think they're so comfy. I wear them all the time. They're the perfect travel short. These um, are the choose a side shorts, so they are actually reversible. I talked about these in the past one or two try-ons, so very fun. You can actually pull the um, drawstring through, so you can tie it on both sides, but I just think these are a great day-to-day -day short. I know they look more like a track short or running short, whatever, but they don't have the built-in underwear, and because, maybe this is just me, I don't know. Because they're reversible and one side is lighter, I don't wanna like sweat like crazy on the lighter color just in case I ever wanna wear them because I feel like over time it would get like a little grungy looking. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Let me know if you have these and you wear them for like higher intensity workouts. I have done um, my hip hop class in these before, but I kinda just prefer those for day to day. I'll put a cute little crop tank top with it and just wear them around, they're very comfy. Last short up, these ones actually I did not have high hopes for. I saw them online, I'm like, ugh, those can either go one of two ways. They're either gonna look great and I'm gonna love them or I'm gonna be like, well, I just bought a pair of shorts only for a video. Lucky for me, I'm actually obsessed with these. I would say these are my favorite to and from short that they've ever come out with that's like, you can dress them up. Um, I know they have the on the fly short. I've had those. Those are a little bit thicker for my liking. Um, I don't know. These ones though, these are the spring breakaway mid rise short three inch. They're the perfect, they hit the perfect spot on my waist. Um, they have the little back pocket and it's such a thin material. These are so soft and comfy. They're not like, trying to show you guys. I don't know how if you can tell how thin they are, but 
These are amazing. I highly recommend these. If you're someone who's like me, you don't necessarily love dressing up all the time because jeans are uncomfortable, jean shorts are uncomfortable. These you can easily dress up with a cute little top and they do have a couple other colors, so I will 100% be getting a few more of these. Just because they're so lightweight, I feel like they're gonna be perfect for the summer. All right, moving on to our little like bonus section, um, the items that aren't shorts, but I did have a few of you ask if I would try a couple of these items and I was just interested in. So the first one is the Swiftly Tech um, I don't know what RB stands for, 2.0 race. I think this is their race length. Um, I've noticed some of the times they have like what's written on the tag and what's listed online. The names are a little bit different. I want to say this is the race length. Um, either way, it's their typical Swiftly material. I love this. I was a little nervous because it was kind of that like in between length. It's not really cropped, but it hits the perfect spot, which you guys are seeing right now with the mid rise leggings. Um, and I think it looks good with high rise leggings as well, or sorry, mid rise shorts and high waisted leggings. That's the one thing I've said in the past and why I actually get some of my other tank tops cropped from them. I don't like when long tank tops just cling to that high waisted area. So I think this is a great tank top especially because everything is usually a little bit higher waisted now, even with those mid-rise shorts. So I am very glad I got this. It must be very popular because it was sold out in every other color but black. But hey, I like black. Goes with everything. I'm happy I at least got that. This next item will not be a surprise to you guys. I feel like I've had this in almost every try-on so far. The Kate's Tea. I got it in black last time because I'm like, I need a neutral color. This is the best crop tank top. And then I realized I didn't have white. So here we are. White crop tank top. This is super lightweight. Um, perfect. That doesn't even need explaining. You need a good white crop top. In my opinion, I like that. Last two items. I'm getting winded. And then Chris will talk about some of the guy's shorts. But can we talk? about this hoodie. I want to say, yeah, all yours hood. Um, this thing is so soft. I thought this was going to be like the um, perfectly oversized crew or perfectly oversized hoodie. This is much softer and much stretchier. So soft on the inside. The outside is even soft. Like it is very fuzzy on the inside. That's what I meant by soft on the inside. But the outside is just so comfy and stretchy and I tried this on with the 10 inch Align shorts, kind of to get that like oversized hoodie with the biker shorts look. I think it's cute. So I highly recommend this. I'm a sucker for any crew neck or any hoodie. And I realize theirs are a little bit more expensive. Believe me, I've purchased so many items from there. It's insane. Um, so I feel you with that, but this one's worth it. Especially if you're someone who likes stuff that's really soft and comfy and just like loungy, um, loungy clothes. Sure. We'll go with that. Um, this is perfect. I love this. This was kind of my wild card for this whole try on. I knew I would like most of the stuff I got. Um, I don't have anything like this, so I figured why not? This is the time to try it. I'll let you guys know. So this is the clear in clear intention cropped jacket. This is the lightest weight little summer spring. I literally don't even know what, how to explain this. It's like, it's see-through. <laughs> it's great though. I actually really, really liked this. When I got it out of the bag, I was like, oh man, I don't think I'm gonna like that. Maybe I should have gotten a four, but it's definitely supposed to be more of that like oversized look like you're seeing. And it has the little draw cords on the side so you can cinch it in, which is kind of fun. It has pockets, the hood. So I think this is just a nice little summer jacket to throw on. I personally work out in sports bras a lot, so I feel like this would be nice to just throw on on my way to the track, um, just so I'm not walking around in a sports bra. And then once I get there, take it off, good to go, start my workout. Um, but yeah, this was definitely my like wild card. I did not know if I was gonna like this or not. and. Turns out, I love it. They did have it in white too, which I really wanted, but white makes me so nervous, and I figured, start with black. Cause then I'll see if I wear it a lot, see how it holds up. Um, 
But yeah, I'm very excited I decided to get this. As promised, and I think we've done this in the past, at least the past few try-ons. Yeah. We also got some shorts for Chris. So, take it away. Sure. So, I've had these for a few weeks, um, at least. Pace and breaker. I've had them in the past. So these are, these are, um, Oh, I don't have the tags. I think I'll have all the information on the screen. I think these are the pace breaker seven. seven. Inch. Yeah, these are seven inch. Okay. And by far my favorite workout short of all time. Um, they are lined, which is perfect for a workout. The only flaw is after, um, like wearing them around, wearing them around. They are, they are pretty compressive. So you don't want to be wearing them for long periods of time, but the, they fall perfectly on your on your thigh. They show a little bit of that teardrop, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, which is which is nice for us fellas. Um, but yeah, they, they fall to perfect length, and they are also not too big around the the pant to where it, it's flaring out, which is one of yeah, my like biggest pet peeves. Yeah, like hanging off your hamstring. Yeah, which is one of my biggest pet peeves. So perfect yeah. perfect short in my opinion uh, for working out. He had only ever tried the ones with a liner until just now. Yes. Um, I, for I, that reason, he wanted ones that he could just kind of wear around not working out. Yeah. Since I love the fit so much, but it is a little bit too compressive just to lounge in all day, I wanted the liner lists, which are perfect. I've had some liner lists. This color, too. Yeah, this color is awesome. I love it. Um, I've had a couple of liner lists shorts before. The short, mm -hmm. I think it was the first thing I ever oh, got from yeah. Lulu, which I loved. Um, but yeah, these are perfect. I mean, they fit the exact same as the, as the lined ones, except yeah. they're not as compressive. You can still wear them to work out. Obviously, uh, I wear compression shorts almost all the time. Yeah. Um, and they're much more lightweight because they don't have that liner in there. Yes, exactly. And so super comfortable. Again, the fit is unmatched in my opinion. Yeah. What? What? I like all these right. ones a lot. So what are these called? Uh, I'll have the name on the screen. He got these last season. I do. I, they're still available. Um, we got, actually got him two or three pairs last year, which is why we didn't get any more because he's decided he's now really liked these. Between you and I, uh, and him, he goes back and each year he'll have like a pair. He's like, oh, these are perfect. And then next year rolls around, he'll put them on. He's like, meh. Also, styles change, and I feel like specifically with guys' shorts, it's like the length goes back and forth on yeah. what you guys like. So yeah. Well, so these are, um, whatever they're called. <laughs> I'll have the name out. on the screen. Uh, anyways, they are another great workout short, lined, uh, pretty compressive liner as well. But they, I believe, are five inch inseams. Mm -hmm. So they're a bit smaller, great for running. Good summer short. Great That's summer what he would short. Say. That's what I always <laughs> say, yeah. Um, perfect to work out in if you're going to work out outside, if you're going to do the track workouts. Yeah. Perfect short for that. So a little bit more of that thigh. What he didn't like at first, he wouldn't wear these unless he was going to the gym because he didn't think they had pockets. Oh, um, yeah. They don't have the pockets on the side, but I found out and I told him, I'm like, you know there's a pocket in the liner, right? He's like, what? There's no way, it's too small. No, it fits, there is. It fits the big iPhone. Yeah. So there's a pocket in there, um, just so you guys know, because we definitely did not know that until yeah. recently. Couple weeks ago. Cause there's, yeah, there's just these, no pockets on the sides. Yeah. And that was my big flaw about them. They don't have outside pockets. Yeah. And uh, now that they have that, that's a, that's a whole lot better. You can mm -hmm. still carry your phone if you're going on a walk. Uh, I think if you still use cordless or cord corded headphones, they, yeah, they have, have little slot. a little slot for it as well. So you can bring it up. Yeah. But um, no, great short for working out. Um, again, probably a little too compressive to just lounge around in. Yeah. Um, and too short for your liking to lounge around in. You would. You yeah. Like if you, I mean, if you sit down. They ride up a little bit, which, mm -hmm. hey. <laughs> Tweets their own, right? Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, the Eddie's short, which after having them for a short period of time, I can tell I'm going to absolutely love these he lives for lounging in, in the hoodie. He lives in it. I love that hoodie. It's awesome. Um, I've always, so my favorite lounge short, typically, I have these pair from H&M, these sweat pants oh, yeah, shorts, shorts that I wear all the time. They have holes in them. They're gross, <laughs> but they're the perfect lounge short yeah. because they're comfortable, but they're not compressive at all. Yeah. I think these are going to overtake my yeah. everyday short. And cause these are lighter weight. It's like that yeah. sweat short fit, but not like a legit sweatshirt material. No, I mean, it's still, so they're gonna be it's way not, more there's no, there's not like that cotton that you would find inside yeah. a sweatshirt. They're super, 
comfortable. Again, with the fit, they're a seven inch inseam, I believe. So they fit similarly to the, um, pace the pace breakers. And so they're pretty, um, they're very flattering yeah. for, for fellas. I hope you guys enjoyed this try on. I think this is gonna be probably one of the best Lulu videos I have because everyone wants to know about shorts and guys and girls are so picky with shorts for a good reason, you know? They have to fit right, they have to be the right length, you have to be comfortable in front of other people in them. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thank you, Lulu, for sponsoring this video and we'll have another exciting one coming soon that he's actually gonna get some items for as well. Think summer, think swim, oh. swim wear. You just gave it away. We'll foreshadowing that. It'll be a good one though. So I will see you guys in the next video.